right guys, the moment has arrived. I am finally back, Bush Gardens, Tampa. As you could also see, I'm wearing my Intimidator 305 shirt. I'm excited to be back here. I'm excited to go on Tigris because I still get to experience that. I'm also excited to get back to Kumba because that's like one of my favorite coasters, period. And Montu, my favorite invert. And also, we can also get a quick update already with RMC Guazi. That's a bit of a different sight. Don't see Guazi. Yeah, it's crazy. They're RMCing it for 2020. Yeah, the last time I was here was way back in early 2018. Um, Guazi was still there. Tigris was even built yet. So excited to get on Tigris. I'm also excited for Falcon Fury 2. It is going to be an awesome day. Yo, this looks wild. There's like no track anywhere. Man, I can't believe that. I'm excited for this awesome hybrid that we're getting at 2020. It's gonna be like 200 plus feet. It's gonna be a pretty tall ride as well. I have a feeling this is gonna be like Steel Vengeance, if I must say. But yeah, I wonder how they're gonna do like the haunted houses in here because now this ride's under construction. They still have yet to announce the name of this coaster. Like, I wonder what they're gonna call it. That looks awesome. Here we are, 2020, world's tallest hybrid coaster. So it's gonna ram steel vengeance. And fastest and steepest. Ooh, that's gonna be awesome. So that's where the line lift used to be. It looks like it's gonna be like some turn now. Or that's one of, well, was one of Tiger's turns. Remember, you got those two right there. Boy, I can see the crane right there, so. This is gonna be like Steel Vengeance, and I'm really looking forward to riding this in 2020. Yeah, look at that. That looks awesome. That's this ride is gonna be insane. I have a feeling it might take the cake for Florida's best coaster in 2020. As of right now, my favorite in Florida is actually over there, Kumba, which you guys can't see it. I can't see it, but I know it's there. Which that coaster also got a repaint this year, so it'll be looking fresher than normal. Guys, I just saw Tigris going and I'm so excited now. I don't know how I got a into a very excited mood. I'm just excited to get on this roller coaster. I know people like Itai and Hunter are like pumping it up for me because he kept screaming, Tigris. So my boys kept hyping me up and I'm really, really excited for this. I've done one of these Skyrocket 2s before. I was just on one a couple weeks ago, Bush Gardens Williamsburg, Tempesto. So I know what the experience is going to be like, but it'll be fun to get a new credit. You know, I'm excited to get on this. So we eat here in the beer garden. They're giving free lemonade. Well, I'm not 21, so... The lemonade. I also know they're doing the free beer, like, back in the day. Back when Bush sponsored SeaWorld. But now they're doing it again. So, props to SeaWorld and Bush Gardens for amazing drinks. Looks like Sesame Street is doing a 50-year celebration. I know they just added a Sesame Street area to SeaWorld, Orlando. Back home. Wow, look at this area. 50 years and counting. They've got a uh, Sesame Street music playing. Because we're nearby the Sesame Street area. Oh wow, see this Bush Gardens parks are just so beautiful. And it accidentally gave me two stamps instead of one. I don't know why I keep snapping. Better snap than Thanos. <laughs> Still feels weird looking at this area compared to the one at SeaWorld. I think I, I like the one at SeaWorld a bit more. It's just the, the one at SeaWorld feels a bit more immersive compared to this. Yeah. Well, look at that. The kids are having fun. I like the little rock work here too. Experience the wildest week of the summer. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's Tigris! Look at that! Bug like Valley did Tempesto again, but it's Tigris. Oh wow, look at Shikra. I'm excited to get back on Shikra again. Hopefully, the thing with Shikra is that it has a really big water splashdown, which is why I like it more than Griffin, but if you're walking through that pathway, be warned, you may get soaked. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Wow, look at that. That looks beautiful. And the color scheme looks awesome on Tigris. Uh, it feels weird seeing Shukra again after riding Griffin a couple weeks ago. I wonder if they're only running one train on Shukra. 
doesn't look like they are. It's kind of weird. And then the log flume is not running, which is kind of unfortunate, but I mean, it's already kind of dreary out, so it's really not that big of a deal. I feel like they've kind of improved on landscaping on Chikra a bit. I don't know. It's been a while since I've been here. Wow, look at Tigris. We're almost to the entrance of Tigris. Alrighty, guys. Time for a little Tigris action. Let's do this. Wow, look at that. It's Chikra. So Tigris is kind of a long wait right now, or has a long wait. Not really, but uh, let's do Chikra. The one that's better than Griffin. Back row on Chikra. Also, I forgot to tell you about Tigris. I also ran to some fellow coast enthusiasts like Sophie, Luke, and Andrew. So if you guys are watching this, shout out to y'all. Sorry I could get you in the video like I did at Mako, but uh, you know, hopefully we do another coaster one day. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys when we do Sikura. That's better than Griffin. Just rode Sikura. That was really fun. Um, it wasn't as good as I remembered, but it's still awesome. Like, yes, it's a lot smoother, and I do for Griffin still, but I don't know. I feel like being up that coasters are kind of like one trick ponies. That's my take on Chikra. I still love this coaster. But yeah, now, time to get our new credit on Credit 143 Tigris. Wow, look at that. It's, guys, it's Tigris. Wow. I feel like I'm about to do Tempesto again. This looks awesome. Nice. I'm looking forward to getting on this thing. Plus the top speed for a Tiger. Nice. 40 miles per hour. I love how the sandbox works a lot with the people around. This is so cool. Just rode Tigress. That was really good. I much prefer that over Tempesto. I feel like, yes, the cover collars aren't like the best. I'm still not too keyed up on the cover collars, but man, the whole audio like at the station, I didn't know about that. So I feel like that just added the experience and it was very beautiful. So I had a good time on Tigris and it was just, you know, glad I got the credit and hopefully maybe later on I could ride it again. So I think next up we're gonna ride Kumba, or as we enthusiasts say, Kumba Daddy. Oh yeah, look at Kumba. It's a new color scheme. Well, it's the same color scheme, it's just repainted differently. I really think it looks beautiful and we're gonna get a good close up later on. Oh yeah, here's Kumba. Why I call Kumba is I think it is the GOAT of the loopy coasters, which means it's like the best loopy coaster that I've done. Well, I don't really consider twisty, sorry, Twisted Timbers really to be looping because it just does a bunch of twists. Like it, does, like the versions are like all these twists. Kumba has legit loops. And Kumba, I just love this ride so much because it's freaking insane. It may not look like it, but trust me, this ride is just insane. I just love it. It's G-forces and this ride is just freaking incredible. And wow, I like the repainting here. It looks simply beautiful. Alrighty guys, time to ride the GOAT of the looping coasters. So loud too, like it's crazy. This ride is just too good. It's just so intense. Like, it, it wasn't even rough. Like, that was much smoother than from what I remember. And I love the repaint. This is easily the king of Florida's roller coasters and is what I would call the GOAT of the looping coasters or Tom Brady of the looping coasters. Like, this is too good. I, I absolutely love Kumba. Easily, like, a top 10 worthy. This, I just love how Busch Gardens has two insane b &M roller coasters. This and Montu are just too good. Like, they're just incredible. Over here is Falcon's Fury. 
This is why I call it the best drop tower. I just, it's just the way that this ride is, it's just absolutely insane. Like, I don't know if you guys can't see well because of the freaking bushes. I mean, it's called Bush Gardens. Um, but, uh, yeah, look at that. It's just like absolutely insane. It's 335 feet in the air, but you tilt at the top and then you just plunge straight down. It is insanity. I absolutely love this ride. One of my favorite rides, period. Like, this really, this, this ride, like, I, words can't describe just how awesome this ride is. It'll be exciting to get back on it later on. This ride is legit pure insanity. Like, you'll see later once we, they get over to the top. Oh yeah. This is why it's so insane because it's tilted at the top. It just drops like that. It's it's so good. Like you can't beat Falcon's Fury. Like it's actually awesome. And these people loved it. They all know that. My gosh, Falcon's Fury. Who designed that ride? That was crazy. Man, I love that ride. I just love how you tilt the top, like 335 feet in the air pretty insane then you drop well wow, that is that is what you call the best drop tower that's like that is insane looking at San Serpent's line I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ride Kumba a couple times because Kumba is too good to pass up on you can never go wrong with Kumba that ride is just too good riding in the back row is just absolutely I don't know if you can hear my voice right now because it's just so loud too. I absolutely love Koopa. That's not as just as loud as Aurora as the old Hulk did. I find it pretty cool. But yeah, Koomba right here. It's 10 out of 10, that's all I gotta say. You can also tell that they really did repaint this coaster. As all this used to be filled with rust. But uh it's no longer rusty. And it just looks simply beautiful. Are we at Chuck E. Cheese? You better give me my tickets. If you guys remember this ride right here, it was it's called the Phoenix. This ride has been closed for a long time. I heard it's been over a year since it the last operated. Honestly, I would not be surprised if they removed this thing completely. I am not really a big fan of this ride as it hurts, but you know, I th definitely think they should replace it with a new flat ride. Possibly, what I've really wanted at this part is a Giga. I was thinking maybe like I-305 style. So uh, yeah, Phoenix has not been running for a while and honestly I don't think it's going to be coming back anytime soon. After talking about the Phoenix, let's get a ride on the Sand Serpent while I'm out to roller coaster. Which used to be called Cheetah Chase. So I got the ride in on Sand Serpent, which was a lot of fun. And also, fun fact. Sansa actually used to be at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. It was called Wild Moss. I think that was the name of it. But yeah, Sansa a bit wasn't as bad as I remembered. Because they usually, I'm just not really a big fan of Wild Mouses just because they're so common. But like Wild Mouse, like that was not that bad. Like, like again, I'm not really a big fan of clone rides. Like, I don't mind the Batman clones, the Superman, like, and the boomerangs are, I don't think they're that bad, but like, I don't know, so they're just really common, but it still wasn't bad. So I think we might do Falcon's Fury again just because it's just that good. Man, Falcon's Fury is just insane. Man, I love that ride so much. And also did the Wild Mouse again. That was pretty cool. Now we're gonna go and get on Scorpion, which is a classic Schwarzkopf. It'll be awesome getting to ride this through this classic roller coaster again. So I will talk to you guys since we do Scorpion. I just did Scorpion. That was awesome. It was just a fun ride because the people that I rode with were hilarious. It was just, they were awesome to ride with. So if y'all watching this, shout out to y'all. But yeah, Scorpion, I give it a thumbs up. And it's very smooth for its age. Like it's definitely uh, retaining its age, probably better than Loch Ness Monster. So yeah, and also I heard Cheat Hunt's running again. So that's a good sign. Over here, they used to have a ride called the Rhino Rally. You guys remember that ride? 
Looks like it's still SBNO. I wonder if they'll ever do anything to this area, to be honest. I don't know, I'll just have to wait and see. Yo, look at that, RMC Guazi. I bet when like the lift is complete, this thing is gonna look just gargantuan. So the area that I'm in, this little area, I think it's a really cool area, you know? It's like a really cool shortcut, you know? I remember always walking in this area after Chile to get over to Falcon's Fury. So look at some of these uh, animals over here. See, look at that. Got a bunch of fish over here. Got a lot of awesome stuff. Uh, you'll see some of them there as well. Wow, You're probably that. familiar with retail leavers. Uh, what you look at all those fishies. Y'all see that? Look at all the fishies. Uh, wow, look at that. It's a Jeep. I wonder if this is like Indiana Jones. Do, 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 do. There's Cheetah Hunt. Look at that. The Cheetah Hunt is like a really awesome roller coaster. It's more for the families, but it's like really cool. Like the whole setting, it, the whole setting just really does it for me. Like it's just amazing. So Cheetah Hunt has a stupidly long wait at around like 90 minutes, which, oof, that's crazy. Coast Cruise is 45, which is not too bad. We may do that one a bit later. But uh, maybe what we might do is maybe get a ride on the Montu Best Inverted Coaster. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Montu Best Inverted Coaster. Done this, Afterburn, Alpengeist, Great Bear, Batman, both Dueling Dragons roller coasters that one of my biggest kind of acting funky. But uh, yeah, this is the best inverted. A ride in the back row is the way to go on Montu. Just in Montu, that was ridiculously insane. Back row, left seat, that's like the best spot in Montu. Oh my gosh, that was like. Like, that intensity was level of afterburn. Like, it was crazy. We might do it again. If I were to do it again, I'd probably do it towards the front. See how it compares to the back, even though I like the back more. Like, with Montu, the, really the best spot on Montu is, like, the back. That's, like, the, like where you sit on Montu. Kumba is, like, you could, like everywhere is good at Kumba. I don't know, but Montu, I love it so much. You know what? Screw every other row. Back row's the best. And that's that. I'll see you guys if you do Montu. This ride is insane. Montu, it's just absolutely incredible. Still my number one invert. It's just, man, that is unbelievably forceful. I absolutely love old school B&Ms and Montu does not disappoint in the slightest. I think next we may do Cobra's Curse now. So um, yeah, I'll, I'll let you guys know what we do next. Here we are, Cobra's Curse. About to get a fun ride on this. This ride is fun. It's not very intense, but it's just so much fun. It's very well themed, and yes, it is Illuminati confirmed. <laughs> just a Cobra's Curse. I get a thumbs up, but it definitely got rougher, I will say. It wasn't like unbearable, it's just something that I noticed. Like it started to develop a rattle. But I guess it's older. It's not like brand new anymore. The new ride now is Tigris, but I like Cobra's Curse. It was fun. So Chi Hunt still has a really long line, but I did go to check out some cheetahs. But uh, let's go grab a ride on Montu again because Montu is just running really well today. Like it's just the intensity is super strong on Montu. Which is why, like, maybe we could do the back row again on Montu, because Montu, I don't know, back row Montu is just godly. Like, it's just insane. This ride in the back row. It's just ridiculously insane. Like, that's like Blackout City. <laughs> like, intensity starting to go on the level of I-305. Like, it was just that good. 
And funny fact, I actually am wearing my i305 suit if you guys haven't noticed. But uh, yeah, I think we made it Cheetah Hunt one more time before we leave. You know, make that our last ride. You know, because we do want to do Cheetah Hunt. After riding for Bolton again, I'd like to ride Cheetah Hunt again and see how it compares with, with for Bolton. So let's just head, let's head over that way too. Wow, look at this line for Cheetah Hunt. This is absolutely wild. It's looking like opening day again. Interesting. Thank you and enjoy your launch a fun career. Right. I remember riding it when it first opened. Feels awesome that's still here. Alrighty guys, who's ready for a ride on Cheetah Hunt? Here we go. Just a cheetah hunt. That was a really good ride. It was such a it's just such a long ride. It has a lot of fantastic launches and some good airtime thrown in it as well. And it, it just feel like it throws something at you like every corner. Like it's just an awesome experience. And I really had a good time on cheetah hunt. It's one of the greatest family coasters ever. that is going to do it here at Busch Gardens Tampa. Overall, fantastic day. Very rainy start, but eventually got better. It turned into perfect riding weather. So my favorite ride here is still Kumba. However, today, the best ride of the day was on Montu, even though I prefer Kumba. Also, Tigris was a lot of fun. Cheetah Hunt was great. Shikro was, it's a one trick pony, but still fun. And then Coast Coast and Scorpion were good too. And then Falcon's Fury. Oh my gosh, insane, itty. So, also, um, it was fun getting to run to uh, Sophie, Luke, and Andrew. So, if you guys are watching, shout out to y'all. So, that is gonna end, I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more videos in the future. Also, don't forget to check out Theme Park Guy Productions on Instagram for more updates and content. We'll see you guys next time. Have a theme tackle day.